What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I've got a real interesting one for you today. I'm going to be revealing in this video how I was able to fund my own app business when I was literally at zero and now I have a portfolio of games making me over six figures per year. So in this video, I want to talk about my experiences and where I started. And maybe if you guys are in the same boat, you can learn something um, and hopefully it provides you some sort of value if you are just starting out. So before we get into how I was actually able to fund my app business, um, I have to say that the thing that really irritates me the most is when I come across um, people who say they have uh, great ideas for an app that's gonna revolutionize the world or a, an idea for an uh, amazing game that's gonna be top of the charts. And they immediately look for investment, let's say from venture capitalists or someone who's gonna pour large amounts of money into the idea. Give me money. Um, the thing you guys have to know is that before you seek out investment, you actually have to have something viable, something already with some traction and investors can see that, hey, this thing's got potential. It's actually, it's making money, but we're just gonna scale everything up and and 100X our, our investment, okay? So think of it as going to the horse races. Now there's a whole lineup of horses and you have to put your money on one of those horses. Now, which one are you going to put your money on? Are you going to put your money on the one that's never run a race before in its life that looks pretty much lost? Or are you going to put your money on the thoroughbred that's proven time and time again that it's actually won races and has a trophy case full of awards? Okay, obviously you're going to go for the one with the least risk. So put, your, put yourself in the shoes of an investor. Are they going to back you if it's your first uh, business venture? You've never built anything before? Oh, hell no! Um, or are they going to back someone who's uh, tried and proven? Um, time and who's built a business, who's sold a business before, um, that knows what they're doing, that knows how to utilize the funds which, which they will receive and um, not waste the money? If you really do want to get investment, then the best place to start is with your family and friends. I mean, even in the beginning, I went to my family and friends, I got a few hundred dollars just to start off with. Um, but eventually they kind of lose interest in it and then it drops off and you have to find other more sustainable ways to keep that uh, cash flow coming in. Um, so yeah, a second job or it, it's um, a better alternative, but ultimately self-investing um, is what worked for me the best. So that's just the one thing I had to clear is that I am a firm believer in bootstrapping. Okay. I did this with my own game studio and for any other business I will take on in the future, I will do the same. Okay. And for those of you who don't, don't know what bootstrapping is, it's basically self-funding your business. Okay. And now you might say, Hey, but I don't have any money. Um, I've got this, I've got this job that I got to work for 10 hours a day you come home you're tired and honestly all i can say to that is that if you look for excuses you're going to find them everywhere okay and i'm not just saying this to be all high and mighty it's because i've been there okay i started with zero i mean a couple of years ago i was sleeping on a mattress on the floor i couldn't i could hardly afford my rent and now my game studio is making six figures per year Damn! which is, I mean, for me, I still find that hard to believe where I was just a couple of years ago. So what, what, what did I actually do? Okay. And what can you do if you don't have any funds? Okay. You can get a second job. Say what? You need to allocate some cash flow every month to put into your, your app idea or your business. And it's, it's like you constantly have to feed it because here's the thing, you're not gonna get it right on the first go around. And this is where most people tend to give up is because they put some, they save up a little bit of money and they put it into the idea and they don't see an immediate return and then it's done. They don't want anything to do with it. 
They say entrepreneurship is bullshit. See, now that's some bullshit. And they're just going to do what they've, they've always been doing. So it is a long-term process. I mean, in the, in the beginning, you are going to lose money. That's why I say cash flow. You got to have some money coming in all the time that you can allocate into the business. Okay. So maybe that means getting a second job. I was, I was giving English lessons. I mean, I moved to Poland and pretty much the only job I could get was um, teaching English. So I, I would just try to find more classes. And I, I mean, I was on the bus most of the day going from one part of the city to the other part of the city. And um, yeah, it was really tough in the beginning, really tough. And I didn't have a lot of money to spend um, to put into my games. But actually what I had was enough because I found um, people, affordable people, uh, developers on Fiverr, experiments with that. And I just kept on learning. So the more money, each bit of money I put into it, I would learn a new lesson. And eventually I got to a stage where I started to see a little bit of return from my games. It, was, it started to make a little bit of revenue. Oh, a nickel. And I didn't take that revenue and go party on the weekends or, um, or spend it on myself. I took that revenue and put it back and then also more money from my job. And then I was able to afford a little bit more every month. So it's like a compounding effect. The, the more you invest into your app business, the more it's going to grow and the faster it's growing. So even now, what I'm earning now, I put at least half of that back into the business, if not more. So, and it grows, I can see it growing faster every month. So th that's the biggest lesson, guys. It's going to take a while in the beginning, especially in the beginning, because you're not going to be able to put thousands of dollars every month into your, into your idea. But I mean, you, you can afford some hundreds, like maybe, 200 300 dollars a month you can set aside and um yeah just by by putting uh any app onto the app store you learn so much just from that it doesn't have to be perfect my first games that were making money they were horrible they were full of bugs i mean if i look back at them now i'm pretty much really embarrassed but they still made money because i knew my target audience i knew kind of uh in the realm of what they wanted it just wasn't polished. It wasn't a really nice looking uh, product, but it did the trick. And slowly that trickle of income started to grow month after month. And I got to reiterate that it, this is a patience game, guys. You have to be really patient. I mean, it took me four years until I was able to go full time. Um, but I actually, I absolutely love it. I mean, this is, I wake up in the morning, I really love what I do. And w with more resources, you can get even more creative. You can hire really amazing people to work with. But yeah, in the beginning, you just got to keep reinvesting what you have, uh, because what you have right now, it's enough. Believe me, I've been there. Um, you might think it's, it's impossible, but it's not. So just keep that in mind, guys. It doesn't happen overnight. You, it's something you got to keep, keep on at and um, eventually you're going to see that traction and I promise you it's going to be worth it. So don't give up in the beginning if you don't see any results. Um, it, it'll happen. You can do it! So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe and you will see more of these type of videos. Like I said before, these are videos which I'm documenting my journey as an indie game developer. And hopefully you guys can find some value in it. And um, yeah, so see you on the next one. Peace.